Recently, I somehow managed to pass my driving test. So as any other typical person would do, I made a game about it in two hours. You don't turn your back on them, man. As always, if you fancy seeing me get to a thousand subs, please do subscribe as we are close. And of course, the new tutorial only channel will be released when we do hit this number. And I know that is why about 80% of you are subscribed to this channel. <laughs> Lads, I'm Blakey and I'm back with another video. And this time it did not take me three months to make it. Call me Mr. Consistency. Now the driving test in the UK is notorious for being on the harder side. With it lasting around 40 minutes and living in London, it can prove to be a bit of a challenge. So since I passed, I do feel I'm now qualified to make a highly accurate little game concept based on the brutalities of driving. And who knows, maybe you can use it to pass your test. I would not recommend that, however. And uh, you, you, you know, you, you'll see why, you'll see why. So as always, we needed ourselves a little car to start this game off with. So being a pro pixel artist myself, I jumped into Ace Bright to make myself a car. What did you think I was going to do? Make this game in 3D? <sighs> Don't be silly. Although, a thousand subs may just bring that out of me. Anyway, like I said, the car looks close enough like a car that I was happy with it. So I sent it away to be packed in a tiny little file that I can use when ready. So the next piece of art needed was very simple. It was just a small tile set of grass and I've made that many, many times as you probably know. So I whipped one up nice and quickly and made sure it's seamless. This will be used for our floor. But don't you worry, we will be using some nice features to spice it up just a little bit. You should know by now, I've always got a trick on my sleeve. <laughs> <laughs> it was finally time to create yet another Unity project to be opened in one day and never touched again. So I booted up Unity and once again was looking at that blank canvas as it said to me. Please stop! Please don't shoot! As any noble game developer would do. We go ahead and get started anyway. So the first plan of action was to set up something known as a sprite shape, which can essentially make flat tile sets do this. This saves a lot of time manually making levels in other softwares and also works well considering we're making a driving game. You can probably tell I had a lot of fun just sitting there with this tool, you know? Stop it. Get some help. So it was then time to open that tiny little package that has our car in it and set it up in the scene with the right settings and all of that stuff. I spent many weeks struggling with pixel art and unity weeks and weeks ago, so I know how to import it quite quickly now, even if I do get PTSD flashbacks. Look at this shit. After giving it some collision as well, you can see it works perfect. Yeah, so there are some issues we need to work through though to make sure it's, it's, it's working correctly, you know. After fixing the colliders and giving our little car some other tune-ups, it now rolls down the hill smoothly as a car with no handbrake should. So, as always, it is now time to give our player an opportunity to move the car themselves and for this method I use something called the add false function which helps to create the illusion of acceleration over just a flat walking character. And you can see this actually turned out really well and we was essentially halfway there with our little project. Obviously there is the issue where you can change direction in the air but that was a quick fix and now we got ourselves a fully working car. Oh, oh, sorry, wrong clip, wrong clip. Now the game needed a good camera to follow the player and there was no way I was writing my own camera for a little game like this. So of course I used our good friend Cinemachine to set up a smooth follow in a matter of seconds. Now the next thing I wanted to add was something for the player to need to avoid. So I thought one thing that all drivers need to avoid is crashing. So I dropped back into Ace Bright and drew a car sort of stuck in the wall as if it had, you, you know, crashed. And this came out half decent, which I will definitely take considering my track record with pixel art. <laughs> I drop these little cars into the game and with a little bit of code here and there, it causes the player to respawn back at the start of the scene. You can see, however, a small issue with this currently. But it's fine because the genius programmer I am, I just reset the velocity and freeze the position of the car right after colliding with the object to ensure it doesn't just full send it off the edge of the hill again. And luckily that did fix the issue. Now we could finally do a bit of simple level designing and create a cool little path for our car to go as we finally had everything in place. And the last thing I needed to do was to create a flag which would mark the end of the level sort of, or in real life, passing your test. 
I also created a little driver's license in pixel art which would explode out of the flag once you reached it, just as a little added flair, you know? Listen, if I spent more than two hours on this project, it would look better. But I like doing these concept games in short periods of time, as it helps me push myself quickly, sort of how game jams do. Now we have everything in place, it's time we give it a little test drive. Let's see if it can actually be finished. Right, so we've made it over the first jump. Okay, no, 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 we have died, and we are at the start again. Okay, no, I've died again. Right, finally we are past the first part. Big hill coming up, can we complete it? No, no, I, I don't think so. Right, so we have died again, and this part seems quite impossible. Two hours later. Okay, we have just fallen off from the start. Right, screw this. Oh look, we made it across. Maybe we can actually fit. Oh, for f On that note, I do believe we have finished with today's video. Guys, if you did enjoy it, make sure to like and subscribe as we are creeping ever closer to that 1K mark that I've wanted for so long. Lads, I thank you all very much for watching today's video and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.